are saying. Leading civil rights group, International Society for Civil Liberty and Rule for Law, Inter Society, has alleged that the security forces, including army and police, have in the past eight months killed over 50 in Imo in August, 550 since January, disappearing 850 and abducted and abducted or unlawfully arrested and falsely labelled 3,400 in the southeast in the course of its operation. This is foreign body now speaking. They have not bribed this foreign body. And you see the heinous crime committed in Southeast, precisely in Imo State. Why won't you kill the governor? Why won't Hopus or the man's head be cut off for all this number of people? Why won't their head be cut off? Don't paint to us. Listen, if you don't talk or do, if they catch you, they will kill you. If I remain sent, sent to Machineka, I don't talk. I, hey, peace, peace, peace. Brother, that does not stop them from catching me and killing me. It's better you hit them hard. Possibly, we can win this war if we understand the game very well. We can win them. We can destroy them at will. If we understand and fight together. Stop painting war. With all these things now, this um, uh, um, international society is telling us, why can't you see Hopu Zodima and kill him? Why? With all this number of your own so-called brother and sister, your own flesh and blood, we are killed by the so-called military men that came to do peace. Whereby, watch the clip I'm talking about, see armed men in the forest, not even thick forest. That thing could be school premises. They were cooking and eating and drinking and dancing and shooting sporadically on air. But the so-called military boys cannot go there and stop that. They will only come to our place and looking for our ESN. Then if they cannot penetrate, what they will do is to see for an innocent guy on the street. They kill him and tag him, uh, uh, IPOP, ESN and whatever. That is how this number increased to this level and you want us to keep quiet god forbid it's better we are not alive than to be alive watching this thing i'm telling you the gospel truth because something must happen at the time something must surely happen men must be angry to destroy what is coming to destroy us even though if that person is whoever politicians are idiots so they are nobody they are nobody if they go down i prefer them to go down more than any other person because they are the cause of the problem these politicians are here, but the uh, inter society, a foreign body, is telling you, analyzing to you, explaining to you the number of key people killed by the so called security men. Brother, these are your own flesh and blood. There is a girl of 21 years old now, they are talking about from a wedding, that they have detained that girl for how many, for how many months now? And they are, I believe they are a GNS Ruike. Because if not, what what are they delaying the detaining the girl? A twenty what do what can you get from there? Hygienes Ruike. Hygienes that's what they are doing with if not. What what, what what can that girl offer to them? The news is still the online. Nobody's talking. Nobody will talk. What we'll be telling is uh, you try to install APC. APC is trying to install Abga. Abga is trying to all manner of nonsense. All of you will be burned down. All of you will be burned down. People's anger will rise. People's anger, all of you will be burned and some fools that are following you people. Nonsense. Board chairman of the inter-society, Emeka Umabalasi. In a statement released in Onitsha yesterday, said the Nigerian security forces, especially soldiers of the Nigerian army, had personnel has and personnel of the Nigerian police force and their principal and the field officers have continued to channel over 80 percent of the country's security energies and resources towards uh, launching and uh, sustaining genocidal attack on member of the Igbo ethnic nationality and their closed door neighbors in the south south leading to wanton killing and loss of life and properties you have had it this now is the inter society telling you the truth all those things we have been hammering here saying here brother this is what is going on 
this is what is going on this thing has happened this is a foreign body telling you the truth who where are your politicians where are your radio stations where are your so-called uh, ibc people can they tell you all these things can they tell you all these things this news is on sun newspaper go there you see it go there you see it my dear brother the people they are talking they have killed is you 80 percent of the military uh, 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 energies and military uh, uh, this thing of the zoological republic armories have been channeled to the southeast whereby i wish brother i wish this thing i wish this thing is um uh is um uh, 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 telecasting uh, something i wish is tele uh, television i would have shown you this clip i'm talking about but i believe some of us must have watched it some of us must have watched this clip very very important some of us must have watched it you will see what is going on and the why you, you, the question you ask yourself why is it that there is no military attack on those areas why is it that they are not attacking them why are they just moving freely but international society is telling you how they are channeling their people to uh, 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 our area and why would that be why would that be that is the question everybody must ask because they have an agenda because you don't have somebody to speak to you you don't have any politicians to speak out for you all of them have been compromised what they're interested is what they're going to gain that is the reason why all these things are happening and that is why you must rise up 80 percent of the armories of the zoological republic of nigeria have been channeled pushed down to the southeast and they are killing that is why they have more strength and more power to be killing innocent biafran youths innocent biafran youth let's continue inter society said the saddest of it all was that over 90 percent of those killed are innocent and defenseless Igbo citizens who lives where exchange who lives where ex, exchange in place of armed members of the eastern security network um, on armed members of the indigenous people of Biafra is telling you that the people that we are mostly affected are innocent people when that when the the the, the, the so-called zoo decided to go and look for trouble because you know it was zoo that went and looked for trouble for themselves and after looking for the trouble they cannot finish the fight they cannot withstand what they look for they decided to go and pour the vent their anger on innocent people this is coming from inter society i'm reading it from sun newspaper brother this is what is going on in the zoological republic and these are the reason why we must fight this battle we must fight this battle very very important very very important let's continue Over 90 principal, principal and the field officer in the East being Northern Muslims and officers and the same with many, if not most of their field operatives. The Nigerian security forces have as a result since January 2021 let loose on innocent and defenseless Igbo population, randomly killing and disappearing them in their multiple hundreds or mass abducting torturing and executing several several of them in custody or capacity also 90 percent of the public information by police and the army concerning the above has independently been found to be false and helpfully fabricated this is from inter society all those things all those clips suppose the one that come out and tell you some time ago that they are using 10 head of a virgin to do this all those things are lie listening to it now is from inter society saying that is why buhari and the presidency and the garbashewa are telling you they don't know what uh, amnesty international is doing in the zoological republic because they don't like this kind of news to come out 
they don't like this kind of news to come out again that is why they don't want them to be that is why they're attacking them what they want is for everybody to keep quiet for them to be able to unleash for them to open the gate of hell let this thing pour onto people then before they will agree by that time they have captured what they want that broadcast that interview on channel television was a very wound to their body they don't like it you see mpc walking immediately talking the 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 the, the, the chairman or whatever of the mbc balarab or whatever was listening to his interview what he said the other time all of them are angry all of them are mad because it's a pre-planned thing with allowing it to be coming gradually 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 and there is the main event the real day for it for them to finish the assignment you and i will stop it brother monagi i will see this thing it is you and i nobody will stop it for us nobody will stop it for us and if you keep quiet it will swallow all of us i tell you the truth because if you are not there and i'm not there there is nothing we can do but if you stand and i stand brother they can't defend they can't defeat us our defense will be the, the, the highest you will need to understand all these things and drop some certain foolish pleasure that we claim we are enjoying and focus on this danger and keep on talking about it and prepare prepare for it it is coming this is jihad is coming they don't relent they have been told and taught about this from childhood is in their blood is in their vein they believe in it i am not against it because that is what you believe but in my own belief is that i will not let it come in brother that is what that is what we must install in our system to oppose it as it's coming we hit it head on we hit it head on by all means starting with the people the okeno nulo that, that is telling okeno nama that has the nangoga we start with them we will start with them immediately so that the road will be very easy for us enough to all these things killing 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 and people are coming in and you are pushing the military towards our place oh every road has been blocked extorting money from people frustrating the life of our people for what reason for what reason killing the innocent people we can't feel free again we don't know what is coming tomorrow we don't know what they are going to offer if we don't react brother we need to fight listen to what they said that 90 percent of public information by police and army concerning the above independently being found to be false and healthy fabricated all those publications you have been seeing say 90 percent of them you know nigerian police now they have never they will never tell you the truth use the um, um, uh, ceo of uh, super tv this attacker case or whatever when they caught the chidema they said it was chidema at the time they brought it out they said it's not that is how they are doing we don't know they will not tell you because they have been collecting bribe they have been collecting bribe nigerian police is the worst on earth that is why the elimi the elimination must continue the military is the worst that is why bombing and blowing and killing them must continue these are demonic angels they are evil helping things to move on brother if you don't understand what we are saying that means you will die foolishly but if you catch the revelation if you understand this thing in this way from this perspective even if you are going to die you will die with them i tell you the truth let nobody be stupid what are those boys doing in the forest what are they doing there why would they be there why would they be there those people with arms shooting it who brought them in who equipped them nobody is talking but you will see armor tank armories to uh, to kind of jets moving towards the east to do what so the, because they want to take our land because they want to islamize us they want to flanize us they want to kill us this is jihad brother anaham anaha cho tabanaka brother you need to hit them head on you need to hit them head on very very important very very important let me read this paragraph again also over 90 percent of public information by police 
and the army concerning the above has independently been found to be false and helpfully fabricated. They included the recent killing of scores of ESN members in their hideout and the recovery of arms in Imo State and military kill, kills, car snatching, IPOB ESN bandit in Imo State. In all this, the innocent and defenseless are the target and the victim. Who am I reading their statement into society? Brother, this one you know go say now we write them, now we put them. It is from the inter society. Those people they tell you they capture ESN camp, they do this, they kill this, that. These things are innocent Igbo businessmen in men market. Innocent businessman, Igbo businessman in a quite market, in a poor market, in a real market. These are the people they just assemble and kill them and take their gun and put on top of them. Call the useless channel television and their BBC one, whatever. They snap them and they will chase them away. Then they will go to the hopeless source of them and collect their money and put in their pocket. This is exactly what is going on because without this way, they will not get that money. Their intention there is to just get that money and kill whoever. And kill whoever. That is why we must continue the killing of these people. Don't paint well. You are dying. Let's start it. Both politicians, anyone you see in the secret, poison, whatever, you throw to them. How many of them can come out and defend you in this way? In other words, if this society is not here, this inter society, this foreign body, nobody will ever say such a thing to you. And the whole world will be watching you, seeing you as a bad person. And you'll be roaming about like cattle without a shepherd, like sheep without a shepherd, like cow without a shepherd. you just be roaming about. Brother, the time has come. This is the time to fight this battle. Let's face our enemy and stop any kind of side side gossip and whatever. Face this enemy. Let us march them head on. What can we do? What can I do? You bring the suggestion that this is the way. We are going to follow them and it must be implemented because we can't be here talking and allow it to, be, to to continue it's impossible whatever esn needed is what you will give them you must give it to them brother even if it is cost you for you to remove your kidney and sell to support esn you must do that you do you know the reason why the other day we had about 70 something men who that was um, uh, uh, harvested and sell to china they will catch you and do the same thing but if you take out to if you don't have money and take out your kidney and sell and support what we are doing it's not a, it's not bad they will catch you and remove it and use it against you just as they are taking our oil buying to canoe jets bombing us our own oil if not what do nigeria have to buy a jet it is biafran oil they take our natural resources, they destroy us. They use our so-called intellectual, they write against us. They use our people, employ them in BBC, Bo. they talk against us. They take our own politicians, change their hearts, they stay there as your administrator, they are against you. So they are using us against us. So if you use what you have against them, it's not bad. It's a tactic. It's a concept. You use it against them. So whatever ESN needed, brother, it must be given to them. Support them, sponsor them, give anything so that we will not go extinct. These people are ready. They have succeeded. They are, every criminal in Anambara now is jumping up and down, waiting for him to be, be whether he's going to. Some are visiting the so-called uh, um, Buhari, dead Buhari. Some are going, all of them, they are sleeping with them, removing their boxers. They are ready to give whatever for them to be in that. This is what is going on. If you can't understand, we'll continue to help you, to give you more understanding. Nobody cares about you. Nobody cares about the dilapidated road, the situation, the condition that you are passing through. What they want is how can I be there? That is, that's all. They don't care. Nobody will come out and talk about these criminals that are in the forest about these terrorists that they have changed their name what are their name done to bandits so that they can somehow you can negotiate somehow um, um Ahmed Gumi can go and negotiate with them and come out because if you say they are terrorists they'll say how can you go and negotiate with them they are watering their name down 
and they are coming inside the city buying things going there see the big pot they are cooking and eating celebrating inside the zoological territory brother if you don't stand up nobody will talk for you this kind of news you had me reading here now it will only come from such good noble and the honest organization called the inter society that is why buhari was angry a few days ago and they said what are the um, um, amnesty international doing in the zoological republic because of this kind of expose that is it because embassy cannot talk you see all this embassy our leader has said it long ago the worst is the british embassy american embassy is also corrupt the moment they give the man crude oil and whatever he relax and be drinking coffee after his tenure, he go another one will come the money that is made for repair rules and this thing they use it to be bribing people and this proved the level of the the dead uh, 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 brain of a black man instead of me to bribe so that uh, my sins will not be exposed it's better i stop that sinning i put i use that money put myself in order no matter the capacity these are the things they are doing no embassy will report to their country that this is what is going on upon all the killings and killings and killings that you are hearing seeing in the zoological republic how many of them have you had in the international society in the uh, international media all these killings look at the one that we took place in plateau and whatever you can't see them moreover the people you want to see are the people who are sponsoring the population so when they are sponsoring this depopulation of a thing definitely they would like you to die more so it is a wisdom that will come to you and i to wake up to fight this battle if you are a christian in the zoological republic that one is up to you most of you your your I, I even blame the men of god that are that are standing on the pulpit preaching to you i even blame them but we don't want need to go to that area now let's continue with this news we are not going to be long today let's continue with this one you see therefore going by our updates no fewer than 550 in not mostly innocent defenseless and and unarmed citizens of eastern nigeria belonging to Igbo ethnic nationality have been killed since january 2021 and the number is 660 if added to the obibo army massacre and abduction of october october november 2020 god bless these people for speaking out the truth may god bless them let's repeat it again therefore brother the people this number they are talking about one nagi up one nagi ufasu so kun naso on the rear pony region on the rear the same way it's in area the same food my brother they are the one i go through this news and i felt it therefore going by our updates let me repeat it again going by our updates no fewer than 550 mostly innocent defenseless and unarmed citizens of the eastern nigeria belonging to the Igbo ethnic nationality have been killed since january 2021 and the number is 660 if added to the obibo army massacre and abductions of october to november 2021 brother 660 people if you add it together what are you waiting for can't you understand if these people are gone they will come for you why you have they have not picked you is because these people are ahead of you are be, before you the moment they take them away they will still come for you the number of the abducted and unlawfully not abducted or unlawfully arrested citizens has also risen to 3350 with no fewer than 850 others disappearing 850 for no account of them they just disappear this could be among the people they harvest their organ and sell this could be the people they just kill at any place and pour acid on them these are our own brothers these are our own sisters the other girl from a 21 years old they are still holding her there tell me what they are going to gain from a, a, a 21 years old girl if not to sleep with her if not to sleep with her the other publication i read about her case was that she's washing their clothes and doing cooking food for them for how many months 
and you say we have governors we have as leaders you have that nobody is talking oh my god may, I, may my hand never be in, in 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 position of arm where these people are because what will happen that day nobody will like it and i don't care I don't care. The number of the abducted or unlawfully arrested citizens has also risen to 3,350, with no fewer than 850 others disappearing. In August 2021 alone, no fewer than 50 were killed. This August, to Gura Bukita, no fewer than 50 people were killed in Imo State, particularly in Old Olo and Oweri Zone. And between January and August 2021, the state has recorded not less than 200 deaths only in Imo State because one idiot is there. I'm telling you, the problem in Imo State is as a result of this demon called himself Fopu Zodimba because he knows that he, if even the gods of the land knows that he didn't win the election. That is why the Katakata was so much. Rochas was even better than him. Rochas won the first one. The second one, he, he, you know, being the incumbent, you know how to rig yourself in. The scene will not be so surfaced like this is home from number four to number one. That is why everything is against him. And that is why the man need to die. The governor, the, the Fulani administrator of Fimo State, who puts them, need to die. He need to die. Come on, tell the truth. That man need to die because of him now just in this august january to august 200 people are dead and more to die if nothing happened 